Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video comes to me from one of my internet friends, Steve Good, at the Scroll Saw, Scroll Saw Workshop. He he must have watched my Docker video and said one of his favorite Dockers is the Tray Docker. I never had even heard about it, never even used it till just now, and it was a little confusing at first. But you have to actually to add things to it. I think you have to actually go to Corel Connect and I never had done anything like this before because I just thought Corel Connect was like connected to the internet and I've only put two things in my tray docker but we're going to go down and just look for another one that I would use all the time and the advantage to this is what I'm seeing is I use this clock generic back or front all the time. So I'm just going to drag it down into my tray. Now we can X out of there and let's get rid of my, and I make clocks all the time. I have, I don't know if I'm proud or not. I've made over 500 clocks in the last 10 years, but then you just go to windows, dockers and tray. And instead of having hundreds of files, these are just a few that you want to keep. All you have to do is just drag it out, and there it is. And I always use the back, and there's my back to cut out with the MDF, and it's right there. I mean, I could start off with a new clock and want to know what this hole size was, you know, in for my movement. If I was going to start a, you know, completely different size clock, I could go and bring this up real quick and ungroup the objects and find out that that is a .31 hole. I mean, if I need anything now that I'm going to use repetitively over and over, instead of having to go to import it or open or find, you can keep a few things in your tray docker. Like we want this ship that I kind of clip art over the years for somebody and I want to use a ship or a boat, I guess it is. So that is your tray doctor, docker. Anyway, and I thank him for the tip and hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.